That's right, everybody. Time to go get this pretty thing dirty. Go do some work. Go get some water for some people. Uh, before we take it out on the first job, I uh, just got our graphics job done by uh, Chad Gall over here at Gear to Go and Rentec Graphics. Uh, he did an awesome job on it. Uh, so, had a lot of requests from people uh, want me to kind of go over this uh, machine, kind of go over some of the differences we see uh, in the machine that we had versus this one. Uh, so, our old machine was a 2001 uh, T650 W2. So, here's what we're looking at here. T650W Legend 4, typical machine. Uh, not the biggest machine they make, but not the smallest either. So, take you up here with me. Um, powered by a C15 Caterpillar, uh, making 580 horsepower. That's definitely a step up in power. Uh, compressor you see here is uh, rated at 1070 CFM at 375 PSI. Uh, our old one was 900 CFM at 350 pounds, so it's a big difference there. Um, variable speed fan, our, our doesn't sound like a big deal. Our our old machine uh, didn't have a variable speed fan. It either it ran wide open all the time, and we would actually have some issues uh, when it got very cold of uh, keeping our uh, discharge temperature off our compressor running high enough. Um, just a whole lot of little stuff too that's a lot different too, like that. If you need to do any welding on it, there's a switch right there. Just cut it off and don't have to unhook the battery cable. Um, let's see here. Yeah, got this little safety handle on here when you're dragging rods down. Uh, that's pretty nice to, when you're reaching up there and. Uh, grabbing a rod and dragging it down. Got a little handle to hold on to. Uh, toolbox got moved up here. Uh, our previous toolbox was uh, down here on the, below the catwalk, about right here where I'm standing. Uh, we had the uh, new drill rig actually has uh, two two tanks at 100 gallons each versus one tank at 140. Uh, let's see here. Let's go over here to the other side real fast. Uh, everything's pretty much the same over here. Same receiver, filters. Uh, one nice thing they did do, uh, rock drill oil tank is here now. Used to be over here. Uh, doesn't really seem like that big of a difference, but we've had uh, hoses actually blow out up under the rig. So now it's just a... Get up in here. Oh. Now it's just a size little quick hose back there to where it goes up the valve stem. Um, hydraulics are pretty much the same. Let's see what we got here. Um, over here on the controls, that's a big difference over here. All your jacks are up here. I actually got joystick controls. I'll show you some of this actually in a little bit when I fire it up. Um, water pump here this is the three-way valve so you can either uh, wash down wash your rig off with a hose or uh, turn it turn it that way actually I think that way's down the drill rig and this way is out through the hose so that's nice um, got a foot pedal for you wrench over here uh, have another cylinder that actually raises and lowers this cylinder that's pretty nice um, breakout wrench still over there beside it. Most of it's the same, but uh, there are a lot of nice features on it. Uh, got our old got our old diverter on here. Um, what else am I missing? Obviously, computer screen. Um, these are pretty much the same. Electronic unload and load of the compressor uh, versus before it was air. So it takes a little bit of time for the electronics to sense this to cut the compressor off. Uh, water injection, lubricator. 
uh, rotation here. You got a forward and reverse, and then a fast on each one. Uh, nice thing about this is you don't have a dial. You have to sit here and worry about keeping it. Uh, if you just set the handle right there, it stays. Um, don't have to worry about that. Um, let's see here. What else am I missing? All right. Let's fire this thing up and get some footage there. <laughs> 